I run multiple pages on uh, Facebook. I have the big page, Nino America. Check it out. And shout out to Kim Rangel with the Platinum membership. God bless you, Kim. If you're on here, thank you so much, sis. God bless you uh, for becoming a member. Think. Yeah, it's up here, sis. It was on the, on the desktop. Thank you, sis. Uh, God bless you, Kim. Uh, so back to what I was saying. I run a couple of pages on my Facebook, y'all. You can make money on Facebook pages. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, it's good money on Facebook. That's all I got to tell you. Anybody out there, um, there's good money to make be made on Facebook. I run Nino America, 34,000 followers. The Advocate is like 20, 30,000. And then the Permian Insider, I just started that one, basically to highlight local I issues. But this post actually went viral. A girl wrote this. I went there and got the picture of this guy and I got the, the info and I made a little post. You know, I'm a content creator and it went viral within a matter of probably two hours. This local piercer was exposed. <laughs> Everybody was coming against him, telling stories and accusations. And then the tattoo shop that hired him fired him. Sis, you want to do me the honor, sis? Will you read this accusation and uh, blot out what words you have to? This is freaking crazy. Go ahead, sis. Um, well, hold on. You're gonna we're gonna have to just talk for one minute because don't I'm on a delay. Oh, and this is a lot too, sis. Shocking allegations. If you're about a woman who is actively getting, oh, go ahead. Are you ready? Yeah, go Let ahead. I'm sorry. Um, if you're a woman who is actively getting piercings or piercings or even tattoos in Midland, Odessa, I would like to share my story with you. Yesterday, I accompanied a friend to a local shop where she was planning to get her. Except I'm pierced. I have never been to the shop, but the experience was immediately off putting. Can you hit see more for me? Can you hit what? There you go. You did. Um, I remember I'm on delay. Oh, you know, I need you to go up just a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry, sis. You're actually reading the screen. My bad, sis. I'm going to get back over here. My bad. Uh, now I get That's you. okay. Okay, go ahead. Um, I'm just going to start here. Uh, well, it went off. So hold this on. is a woman. Guys, hold on. This is a woman making a statement. This is what I'm telling you. You got to be careful what you're saying to people and, and how you say things because people are watching this guy from what the city's saying, he was like this at all times. It kind of makes me wonder if the, if the shop knew the way he treated people because if he worked there, uh, you have to know that they will know something. This woman is actually making a big old statement and this dude got fired due to this statement and many others. And it shows you right here the mindset of someone that's paying attention and don't think these uh, sexual jokes are funny whatsoever. Go ahead, sis. Yeah, I just so um, said that um, he would only use like dainty jewelry to match these feminine features. I'm trying to read all this, you know, and it's kind of hard for the way I'm doing it. Um, he looked at the girl and said, who did your eyebrow piercings and proceeded to start snickering. I asked him what his problem was and he started telling me they looked terrible and they did a bad job. He also made a comment about how eyebrow piercings would never leave reject. And I'll be left with a scar. Let me get to the good part. Um, yeah. He also made very, or he made a lot of sexual comments towards my two friends and made comments about getting to touch people while piercing. Um, my friend let me know he grabbed her thighs during the piercing and then forced them shut. He proceeded to put his legs around hers and hold her leg shut with his. This is extremely disturbing, disturbing giving, a little bit given that he made several. S comments while also mentioning that his profession allowed him to touch people and calling her sexy multiple times. Um, he was also playing music from one of my favorite bands. Everyone chatted about the band and my friend made a comment about how we recently saw them and how I've been to see them 10 or more times. He then proceeded to main ma mainsplain, I think she meant mansplain, and basically named three songs to me about the band. Um, he just was very inappropriate. That's just what it it that's how you can just say. And I got a new poll up. Women, would you let a man pierce you? To be honest, from what I've gathered from the, uh, there's a lot of crazy comments, y'all. People are saying, I don't know if this, you can even pull up the uh, post, but people have a lot of crazy stories about this guy. He's like a serial pervert piercer. And what I've gathered from this, y'all, and I would recommend this. I mean, I'm against tattoos and piercings. I'm a Christian, you know, give hat or whatever, but I'm against, you know, destroying your body or or putting markings and in, 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 uh, engravings and in, in whatever holes in your body, but you do what you want with your body. But from what I've gathered from this situation is a bunch of women have come uh, forth saying that they only trust women to pierce them because this guy was alleged to uh, touch them inappropriately. He was putting his hands in their, in their, their thighs and just to pierce their nose. Uh -huh. Y'all, he was doing a lot of extra stuff to cop a feel basically. And there, the, the stuff that he was telling women 
was crazy. Again, it's on my Facebook page. If you get a chance, go check it out, y'all. I got uh, it. I, I, some of the comments going up right now. So here's one. I came back in October to get my ears double pierced, and I brought one of my friends with me, and he kept making comments how, on how me and my friend were a perfect couple, she said, but we were not together in that way, and how well we must be in bed, and how he could be better than my boyfriend who I brought up that I had. He ended up putting a set of earrings in I couldn't afford because he said they would look better than the set I'd picked because it made my eyes sparkle. He was also showing us a video he'd taken of a woman getting her lady parts done and how he didn't like piercing her because she squirmed too much. And he likes his models to be still. He has a video on his uh, Facebook page, y'all. He's piercing a woman's CL. I don't want to say here. And I'm like... When I saw that, I said, that shop knew he made that video. How disgusting and unprofessional to show one of your clients getting their most, uh, you know, private parts pierced, a woman of all people. But that's that's the kind of perverts that are out there, y'all. And people are saying that, that the Bloodline Studio, uh, the tattoo shop that hired him, they knew about his previous allegations with a 16-year-old girl, they said. And someone even said, y'all, uh, one was pretty crazy. Um, what did they say about him? I can't even think, sis. There's there's so many stories that I read on this. I should actually pull up the post on my end so I can read them. But I couldn't um, believe what I what I was hearing on the on these actual on these uh you know the allegations against this guy. And this is the people. And there was another one that said he'd always come to my store whenever I used to work there mm -hmm. and tell me about my piercings as well that he would do mine. But I, she said I didn't feel so comfortable. Oh, she said, but I didn't feel comfortable around him, so I never went. Um, let's see what else is here. Man, 83 comments um, are all on my advocate page, and there are a lot yeah, of accusations. And, um, I'm so glad to see the ship take this seriously. That's awful to be made so uncomfortable while paying for a service like that. Um, I need to go to your other page to look at some more comments. I'm on the but advocate. Just, while, we're, while I'm looking there, I just want to say Gonzo just upgraded the premium to um, platinum package. Thank Whoa. you, Gonzo. Damn. Wow, y'all, that means a lot, man. Thank y'all, man. Gonzo, Kim, everybody, Josh, Alex, Ponce. I mean, wow, thank y'all for upgrading, man, for just even being a member. And then in task, brother task, thank y'all. I salute y'all. Uh, let me get to this comment. It says, This was crazy. Someone says, This guy did my dermals and told me he'd drink my bath water. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, it's funny because he's the one that pierced my lip in 2010, and I still have a scar to this day. I no longer have a lip ring, and you can see my scar deeply. Uh, mm. This this guy pierced both of my daughter's ears last year, and now I have the ick. This guy did my belly button ring when I was underage without any paperwork or legal guardian. That's one of the biggest things they complain about him, that he didn't check paperwork or IDs or nothing, y'all. He was basically illegal, illegally touching these people, these underage kids basically and piercing them. Yeah, probably has some kind Tristan of a fetish. Right here said, wow, this guy pierced both of my daughter's ears last year and now I have the ick. Yeah, I read, I read, I read that one. Uh, oh, did you are you on the, I'm on the advocate, sis, if you want to go to uh, another page. That's where I'm at. Okay. Yep. And then someone else, I don't know where this one's at. It might be on the Permian Insider, but this person said that she started, sis, can you go to the Permian Insider and, and check Mark, those that's comments? Where I, that's where I read the other ones from was the Permian. Okay, right here. I'm going to get it. Look, someone says, yup, was, yup, was just there. Very obnoxious. Made me and my 15 year old daughter follow on all platforms. He made them follow them. A lot of guys said that y'all. And, but yet no discount. I recorded my daughter getting her belly pierced and he said, Hey, that's my content, not yours. Send it to me with a loud, serious voice, almost in a threatening way. Mind you, she turned 15 that day. I mean, it was the worst experience ever for us. I literally told my husband never again. You get an ugly feeling for sure. Someone said, oh, here's a good picture. They got him on Instagram. Uh, I wish I could see a better picture of his face. I have a, my, I got my septum, cheeks, and nose, and lip in a garage when I was when I was younger, something like that. And I told him this is the best yeah. picture I can get of the guy, but there's they got a picture of him, y'all. Um, this is the point. You do these kind of things long enough, you're going to be exposed. Uh, Lucy Estrada says, as a female piercer, at, she puts her, her name, this is so sad and disgusting to see. How can you take advantage of so many females? Man, someone needs to talk to this dude. Sorry to anyone that had to go through this. It's so sad. And I'm glad someone finally came out and said something because how much longer would this have been going on if no one said anything? And then the statement from the shop says, we do not take any 
thing like this lightly. He has been let go from our shop effective immediately. Thank you to everyone who came forward on this post. Listen to this. So even though this Bloodline Inc. Uh, Bloodline Inc. fired him, first piercing said that the owner was very aware that he was fired from the mall due to his inappropriate behavior with a 16-year-old before they hired him. Shame on them. This is crazy, y'all. This is a uh, pretty wild, and some I think that that person wrote me sis, but I haven't been able to open up the app to read the message. I think they want me to help them expose this dude more, y'all. Not just him, but the Bloodline Studio. I think that's where everybody's yeah. going. You know, if y'all don't know, y'all, I'm Nino America, and uh, locally I'm very active. Uh, when people need my help, I go help in the city, protest, whatever, rallies, and everything, y'all. But the point is, I think they want me to help. Uh, exposes, dude. Should I do it? I mean, maybe I should put a poll up. <laughs> should I expose this guy further? Because I'm going to be honest, okay? When I saw this happening yesterday, now that I see all the allegations, like, screw him, but I kind of felt bad for the dude. I'm like, damn, this dude, you know, got fired off of allegations, but then once you think about it, he deserved it. If he gave horrible service, made women feel a certain way, and was being a pervert, right? This was a, lo a long time coming for this guy. I told my wife, I said, man, this guy's probably never going to work, gonna get work again in West Texas. My wife said, no, they're going to forget about it. And he'll be back at a shop. So anyways, y'all, this is the uh, pervert piercer, Flinch, called out and fired in the same day. They call him Flinch, y'all, because he uh, he likes to pierce you on the count of two. So he say he's going to do one, two, three. He likes to pierce you at two. And I even kind of thought, sis, that's kind of messed up, right? He's giving you a countdown. <laughs> And he hits you at two instead of three. That's like his uh, technique. It's it's kind of creepy. It's kind of like he's kind of like a weirdo. That's like that. It's that funny reel that I have up on Instagram that I did a long time ago. So confuse them all. Count to ten and throw a punch at eight. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, it's messed up that that he would do that. I mean, especially for like young kids that are getting their ears pierced or whatever to say that you're going to go one, two, three and to do it on two. Like, yeah, that would be traumatizing. Yeah, it's crazy. Is it a video? Everybody is saying put him on blast. Man, I might have to do it. Someone say, is it a video? He has a lot of videos, y'all. Um, I'm going to be but honest. But had a good point. Allegations can ruin, ruin people's lives if true. it's not true. Th that's kind of what I'm saying here, y'all. Uh, he got diddied because this guy got exposed. He's not convicted. He didn't get put in jail or charged, yet he got canceled, kind of like Diddy, y'all. And they're saying, were you uh, defending Diddy? Hell no. Nah. But in a way, I am defending uh, the court of law and the rule of law, right? We're innocent to proven guilty. But in 2024, that's the point of this. You can be considered guilty in the in the court of public opinion. And once that happens, there ain't no coming back. Liberty Dragon has an awesome video. Check out our last lives we did, 22, 17,000, 22,000 views on the, on the lives. But, you know, these kind of accusations, you know, can ruin a man especially if they're not true, even if they are true. Well, either way, allegations like this broadcast to the Internet for all to see can really uh, make a man do certain things uh, and even to the point of unaliving themselves, y'all. But again, I think this guy deserved it. To be honest, from the uh, hundreds of comments I've seen, this guy was a pervert. And I'm going to be honest, when I seen him piercing people, he does the videos. I just said, ain't that a... a no offense to my people that get piercings, y'all. But once you kind of follow someone like this that does this for a living, you got to have a kind of a weird uh, fetish, fascination. I don't know. You got. I think you got to be kind of weird to be a piercer like this guy. Like, you got to like putting pain into somebody, right? Like, it, it, it's like a fetish. I think that's how this guy was. And then whenever you see the videos of this guy doing this, it's like you're going into a dungeon. You're going into his little cave or his little spot, and he's just piercing people all day. I think that's somewhat, uh, I don't want to say tribal, primitive. There's a certain word when you go scroll this guy's Instagram and his Facebook page, y'all. He doesn't have a big following, but when you see people just getting pierced and pierced and pierced, you start thinking like, damn, this is kind of a kind of a sadistic uh, thing to do to people. And even tattoos to a certain degree. And I'm not trying to you know disrespect my people that are tattooed and pierced up. But once I started paying attention and seeing who this guy was and how he operated and, and the videos he made... I'm like, this is kind of like some weirdo activity, in my opinion. Go ahead, sis. <laughs> no, I just, I, I, I just think that with that many comments and all of those people saying the same thing, that it's probably true. But at the same time, I know that allegations can ring people's lives. So it is. It's a, it's a really hard like thing to decide if you want to blast somebody or not. And 
I don't know. I would just have to think about it if I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, they said, how do I see this video? He's uh, Flinch. His name is Flinch. Just do what I did. I went to Facebook and just put Flinch. It'll probably pop up. He's a hot topic in West Texas. Flinch, Bloodline, or uh, look him up on Instagram. Uh, that's his little post. I put the post right there. Is that little devil. It's uh, by Flinch. I forgot what his damn logo is. Hold on. Let me read it to y'all. This is pretty sickening, too, with his, his logo. His logo has a mm -hmm. devil, and it says, you pick it, I stick it. So that's his logo. His name is Flinch. He's unemployed at the moment. And uh, all you got to do is go to Instagram or Facebook and just type in Flinch, Odessa, Texas, Flinch, Bloodline, and he'll pop up and you'll see his page. You know what I'm saying? Nothing special. Making content of him poking people. And the the one thing he has, though, I think he has, I want to say almost a million views. I might be wrong. I might have not saw the number right, but he's piercing a woman's uh, neither regions, you know, her her i don't want to say but he's, she, she let him record i guess and it's blurred out but he's actually piercing her private part and you know that video got i want to say almost a million views i might be wrong but he you know he likes to make content and that's why mm -hmm. that's why i think it's kind is of that weird. really what he wants it for is the content Sis, that's what i'm saying once i started watching this guy or seeing what he did you know not even like for a long time for two three minutes and i'm done with this but i'm just saying once i seen this guy's get down i honestly said man this dude is a freak you know what I mean, sis? Like, but yeah. then again, this is what they do. They pierce, they tattoo. That ain't my thing. And that's all there is to it.